everybody welcome back to my channel my name is chris you reach chris loves lux and y'all see i got lashes on right okay i'm trying to new i'm trying to new okay we, we I'm, I'm gonna try i'm gonna try the lash life you know so if you see me looking twisted like today because this one this one is just too low or is this the, this one's too high but anyway i digress we're not here to talk about lashes we are here to talk about fragrance because your girl your girl been shopping and if you follow me on instagram which you should be following following me at chris loves lux you know that i've been shopping because i posted pics of the bottles some of the bottles not all the bottles we're only going to talk about five today and today i am going to give you the notes and i've worn i think all but one of them some of them i've worn multiple times because i had whole decants of them you know from my essay before i um actually purchased them i have a fabulous sales associate at neiman's fragrance area who um always hooks this girl up because i have like seven or eight fragrance samples that i am trying right now that i really need to stop because it, the, you know i'm making it rain all over neiman's okay but anywho i digress let's get into this but before we do public service announcement hit that button boo hit the button okay what button the subscribe button hit the button become a part of the chris loves lux family with all that said all right now we could talk we could talk this fragrance y'all okay i've been hearing a ton about this fragrance i didn't bite the bullet because i was like yeah i cannot put another one of these fragrances back into my you know in my collection you know at that price tag because like, you know i have limits <laughs> you know what i mean but i was like okay i'm just gonna try a sample so when i was at neiman's shopping for something else i stopped by i saw a terrence that's my sales associate at the short hills neiman's if you're looking for some hook hook up of some samples because he is not pushy but he will get you buying okay once he knows the kind of notes that you like it's a wrap okay he gonna have you just making it rain all up in there but anyway so i said i i think this is just hyped up even though all of the fragrance for the most part channels i follow all rave about this scent and say it's a must-have for the spring and summer i was like i'm not doing it i'm not falling down the rabbit hole right i'm not falling in i'm not falling down i'm falling down a mini rabbit hole i'm not going to go down that one okay well i fell down a rabbit hole y'all okay i was like i'm not going to get this fragrance blah 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 well your girl got the fragrance and this fragrance is creed aventus for her this baby right here Kelsey Brianna J bought it recently, I think a few months ago. She said it. I was like, Dad, Kelsey, you fell down the rabbit hole, right? Sheree Lewis, she also said, y'all, y'all, she said, this is good for the summer. I was like, Sheree done fell down the rabbit hole. I'm right down there with y'all now. I got a nice size. I want to call it a decant because it was well beyond a sample. He made one for me and he said, if you don't like it, then this will last you for a long time, right? The sample. I said, I'm not going to like this like this. Whatever, right? I tried it that week and was like, oh, okay. And I was like, mm, it's all right. Waited a few days, tried it again. Was like, hmm, okay. By the third time that I sampled the sample, okay, and I'm an oversprayer, I don't care if it say strong or not, right? You got to prove to me how strong you are for me. To, I overspray and then ask for forgiveness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm spray, 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 whatever. And I'm, I'm like, yo, I still smell this fragrance. I was like, okay, I, I might be offensive to somebody in the house, but I didn't care, right? So... I wore it a fourth time, I want to say, and that's when I said, you know what, you're going to need that bottle in your whole life, okay, because I don't know what it was about that day, I think I was out, and it was like perfect weather, it was a slight breeze, and I was doing something, and the breeze went by me, and I smelled it, and I was like, oh, that's me, yes, honey, and then I went and got it, so this is Creed Aventus for her. Um, I did get, what is this, the, the 2.5 mil bottle. 
The top notes is the green apple, bergamot, patchouli, lemon, pink pepper, and violet. I love pink pepper, right? Bergamot, I can, lemon, I can, I can live without, right? I'm not big on citrus like that. I really not. I'm a floral girl. You know, I like flowers. I like um, some fruity flavors, but you know, I'm not big on lemon because I'm like that opening be like, oh, right? But the green apple was interesting, right? But when it got to the musk and the sandalwood and the rose in the middle, and then it ended with that amber and honey, that is what sticks around on me. The amber, I don't know about the black currant because I'm not familiar with that note. I'll be lying to you if I was, okay? I'm still getting familiar with things, but I like to tell you how things make me feel, right? Some people say the outfit, some people, this, I will tell you when I first wore it, I was kind of like, and that's because I was in the house and I wasn't outside. I was kind of like, it's okay, you know, little, a slight bit cologne on for, at first, right? Like little masculine when I say cologne. And I was like, okay. But that last time that I wore it, I, I'm going to say I felt pretty with a hint of sexy. You ever seen someone that just looks flowy, right? They may have a maxi skirt on and you're like, oh, she looks cute, right? I'm saying maxi skirt because I just wore one. But anyway, maxi skirt. And you're like, oh, that's very pretty and flowy, right? But then when they start to walk towards you and the wind hit and that split hits you, your eyes, and you see that split is above the knee, but not too much above the knee and it's serving up just the right amount of boom, right? That's kind of how this snuck up on me. You know, at first it was just a maxi that was real pretty, but then when it got to that point where you saw that split in the, and you like, oh, okay, she working it to, that's, that's what I got from this. So that's why I went and purchased it. Cause I said, you know what, with that nice outfit that could even be all like, denim jacket maxi skirt and a tank top because that will be me this summer right you know um i can see myself throwing this on i wouldn't necessarily say i'm throwing this on to go out to dinner i won't say you know at least not if it's a late night dinner or you know dim lighting dinner or stuff that don't give me this that that doesn't i don't get that vibe from here not for me right but i do like it creed event is for her I can't be spending all this time on each one of these fragrances. We only got four more though, so it's not going to be that long of a video. Now, y'all know I stay shopping at Dior, right? For the for makeup, right? And so every time they I, they they what do you want us to send you? I'm always picking their um private blend line, right? Because you guys know I have Feb Delicios or however you say it. I have Oud Isfahan and I have Amber Nui in bottles, in larger bottles. And then I had 12 different travel sizes over here. And I have six testers, like six samples that they send, right? And the samples normally come like this, in this little bitty thing. And then you have larger travel sizes like this. I have almost every one of them over here. That's how I sample them. So I don't rush to get the large bottles because I have so if I get a large bottle of one of these, I'm really rocking it, right? I really, really want to rock it. So otherwise, I will use these up. So I say that to say this particular scent that I'm about to go over with you, I purchased after wearing it, I think two or three times, right? And I said, you know what? I just like this scent. It's like one of those scents that I'm like, it it's it just made me feel good, you know? Um, and that, I love the packaging. Gotta give it up for the nice, clean packaging. And that is Belle Du Jour by Christian Dior. So, got the big bottle because this one doesn't come in the one ounce. Because if it did, I would have got it in the... No, I wouldn't have. I still would have got the big one because I definitely overspray. I've already used this, y'all. Right? As you can probably tell, I've already made a dent in it. Right? I turn it upside down. You could probably see the dent better. 
but you I do have to overspray this and so I'm gonna go over the 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 longevity of this you know what I didn't go over that with Creed with Creed honey I got straight eight hours I was still smelling it this one was straight it was giving me beast mode and it wasn't even that hot when I wear this in the summer that's all I'm gonna say for this one Belle du Jour is so 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 pretty and that's all I kept saying was it makes me feel so pretty it it's just pretty it's pretty I'm not gonna say sexy mm -mm. I'm gonna say sensual yes I'm gonna say definitely one that if you are giving off first date vibes yes Cause you not you may not necessarily want to be sexy on your first day. You want to be pretty. You want to be inviting. You want to be, um, you want to be conservative, but not really. You know what I mean? So, so that's what I got from this one. And it, it's fruity. It's got rose. It's powdery. You do get the powder, which makes it kind of flirty for me. Um, it's aquatic, which gives it all the summer vibes you need. Uh, floral, right? So um, I was feeling it. Now, you ready for the notes? I'm gonna give you the notes. Rose, that's what got me because you guys know I love a rose. I love rose as a note. Pear, white pear, and white peach. Then powdery notes, woody notes, and ice cream. So it gives you that hint of sweet, creamy, powdery, all of those nice, soft, delicate things in there. And then the wood at the bottom brings it, brings and grounds it. But, 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 I only got five hours out of it, right? But I didn't care because I have a, tra I have a travel size and a sample of it so I can always throw it in my purse. And it was that good and it made me feel that good that I insisted that I get this. Right, there's a few other ones that I'll get, and as I get them, I will um, talk about them on the channel. But this one right here, it really, really made me feel good. It did stay on my clothes, though. It stayed on my clothes all day, right? As it should, because it's on your clothes. But on my skin, by like hour four and a half, or maybe hour four, I was like, I had to come all the way up here to smell it, right? By hour five, I had my nose all up on my skin trying to see if I can smell it. So I'm gonna tell you that's all I got. Now, I am gonna go check and see if they have a body cream because I think that will make it perform longer. But I still like it. I still love it, y'all. You know, for me, it was worth the money, you know? Okay, so that's that one. So, as I, like I was telling you, I'm at Neiman's oh, too, too often, right? So, Terrence was like, you know, Kirk John is coming out with three new scents on the 1st of May. I said, stop telling me stuff. So I, so he gave, he let me smell all three on a card. The first two, I did not like. I did not like them on the card. That's what I'm going to say. And these are colognes. So, you know, they're not going to let, they're not going to have the performance of mm, Ooh, Sat Mood or, uh, 54 extra or even 54 which I can never smell but everybody else smells it on me okay so I was like mm, give me a give me a, a large slide like make me a nice a good sample a good enough sample for me to get a lot of wear out of it right so he made a nice decent sample out of it for me and it was late April so I wasn't able I wasn't going to be able to buy it to the first anyway or at least the 29 30 if you know how it is a kind of like a soft launch so I sampled it and I'm going to show you which one I ended up getting out of the three. There's a white bottle, there's a yellow bottle, and there's a, it's not white, it's clear bottle. There's a yellow bottle and then there's a blue bottle. They all have different notes. They're all meant to be spring, summer scents. That's why he, he, he has them out now and they're cologne, so they're lighter weight and I had to think about how it's going to perform when it's hot and I'm out here sweating like a beast, right? That's when I'm probably going to get the best performance out of it, to be quite honest. But I wanted it, right? And I'm going to go over the notes with you and then I'm going to show you which one it is. 
So the one I got, the main accords are fruity, and this is based on Fraganta. Fraganta, y'all know what, what name I'm talking about. Fruity, citrus, musky, powdery, floral, fresh, spicy, aromatic, white, floral, woody, and soft, spicy. And that spice is in there. It's gentle, though. It's a gentle spice. The actual notes are black currant. These are the only ones they list. I'm sure there's more. Black currant, bergamot. And there goes that bergamot again. But it goes away. And then I get the jasmine, the mimosa, the musk. And there's something else in there that's not listed here. But I'm telling you, it's there because it catch, caught my nose, right? And so the one I ended up getting is in this box here. And you guys know how, how it is. It's a box inside of a box. I wore this four or five times before I bought it, right? Before the launch actually occurred. And that's this baby right here. Isn't this bottle everything? I like this clear bottle. It's clear, but it's blue. And so is the juice, by the way. It's like a light blue. Um, I love it. It is very clean right it is not linen though you know how you get fresh linen clean type stuff that you like it's a bed spray a bed linen spray or whatever no it's not clean like that but it is clean it is not date night appropriate but this is the scene i painted in my head that got me to do it things are starting to open up especially outside activities right and the one thing i thought about is if I went to something like, um, uh, what did I say? Miniature golf, right? Where it's just you and probably your date or another person. And you guys are going to be in close proximity, probably like they're standing here, you're standing here, but you're outside. So it's windy. So they don't catch a little bit of what's going on, but you don't want to smell or off-putting you don't want to still come off too strong things of that nature so what you're trying to do is give a little and take it away then give a little more and take it away and that's what i was getting from this i was like it's giving me something but then it's pulling it's pulling back you know and it, it's playful that's the word i'm looking for it's playful and clean and i said you know what I like beast fragrances. I like stuff that's going to choke you out. You know, not literally, but I like that kind. I like stuff that's going to be like, ooh, how you doing? You know, like, what's, what's, your, what's your sign? You know, what's your zodiac sign type of thing, right? I like that. But I also want things that are just clean. They're a different type of sexy. They're more like... The low on the low sexy is kind of like flirtatious, right? And that's this is another one that was giving me flirtation. This one is a beast flirty. This this is a, this is a tad bit different because, like I said, it's it's hidden sexy. This one is I'm flirting with you. I don't really know you. You know, we're gonna meet for coffee and not really go on a date. Maybe you just met them online and you're not ready to actually go out on a date, but you want something that you're going to meet them at Starbucks, Barnes and Nobles or something. This is what you could wear. It's pretty. It's clean. And yet it still has that bit of sweetness that just gives you a little bit of, you know, salivation. Yes, I said salivation because I don't have no good sense. But anyway, so this is Mason Francis Kurt John Aqua Celestia Cologne Forte. I'm going to put that up there. I really like it. The The retail price is $225. You can always wait for a sale where it's like, um, you know, a gift card sale or something like that. But $225 is not bad for Kurt John. That's what he normally goes for. Like, I think Grand Soir is $225. I think my Ala Rose might have been $225. 225 you know let me know if you guys want me to rank my kurt johns i think i have six or seven or something like that let me know if you want me to rank them for you i can do that in another video tell you why i like them etc so with all i said i have two more left and i said i wasn't going to have a long video but this is longer than i anticipated but that's okay we here we here for it right okay so let me find my notes because i want to make sure i get this all the way right so, y'all know that, and if you don't, you need to follow me 
on Instagram and watch my community tab. But anywho, Bergdorf Goodman had a 30% off sale. Certain makeup, beauty, and fragrance products. Okay. So Tom Ford, certain things from La Mer. I want to say like the La Mer Soft Fluid Foundation was 30% off, but only certain shades. All the shades wasn't there. And then other things like that. And so was Roja Perfumes. Parfums, right? Only their new essence line was on sale and it actually most of them sold ended up selling out so i'm very very happy that i took the time to look and purchase immediately two of the scents right and i looked at a ton of videos because y'all these two were blind buys i did not smell near one of them okay so a lot of influencers had flooded the scene with reviews because Roja Parfums sent them the collection, which I appreciated because I was able to get everybody's take, right? Because when you're doing something blind buy at this price, because the regular price is $290, I paid $203 a piece for them from Bergdorf, okay? So I'm like, mm, I need to see which one is going to make sense because this is not something I can just go back and be like, I don't want, right? But I don't want to miss this sale because 30% off, you don't get like that, okay? And I recognize that. And then I told myself, if you don't like it, you can put that bad boy on Macari, Poshmark or whatever, get your coins back. That helped too, you know? But anyway, but I watched Sheree. Y'all know how I feel about my girl Sheree. I love her to death. Hey, Sheree. Um... She did a very thorough review of all of them, right? And she and I have similar taste in fragrance. Similar, not exact. So there was one when she said, no, y'all, and she sniffed it and she said, hey, hey. I said, oh, that's the one. Because I knew what was going on in her head. She was like, y'all, this is sexy. This is this is it. I said, oh, I know what she meant by that. Let me, let me run it. Let me add the cart that one. And then I had to rewatch the video again to see which other one I was going to get. Now I'm going to talk first about the one she was like, no, y'all need this in your life. Right. And that one is the, first of all, let's talk about the packaging comes in this box, but then you push this right here. And I know y'all probably seen it on other videos and it comes like that. Can we give it all the way up? I know I showed this already on my Instagram. If you are not following me, shame on you. Okay, go follow, follow. But can we give it up for the purple ombre bottle with the gold top that has the signature of Roja on the cap? And it's heavy, y'all. It's like a weapon of mass destruction. I'm telling you. But... This one is Creation E. When she said, she went like this. <laughs> I said, oh, I know what that look. When you, for the old that watch her, y'all know what she, <laughs> you like, oh, I know what you thinking. I'm getting that one, right? And so it immediately drew, drew me. I said, wait, let me calm down and go find out what the notes are. So she did tell me the notes. And then I looked at some reviews. I did homework, honey. When you buying, spending this kind of money on something you never smelled, right? So it is an oriental, rich and soft. This, I'm reading this straight from the Neiman's website. It's soft, powdery whispers of Oris. Sorry, y'all was getting a phone call. Oris and must dance around a central note of elegant rose de mai. Top notes, lemon, bergamot, mandarin. Y'all know I like me some mandarin orange. I like orange top notes and everything else orange. I like orange in my fragrances. That's why I like Coco Mademoiselle, Coco Mademoiselle Intense. And there's some other ones that I like because it has it in there. But anyway, we're going to keep going because I digress. Heart notes, geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine, uh, lang a -lang, heliotrope, peach. Base notes, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, oris, ambergris, and musk. So, I, I when I got it, I was like, all right, it's time to spray. 
spray. That's all I did. I did not over spray. I said spray because it was nighttime. Spray. I didn't spray it just now. I was like. And the first thing I said is, thank you, Sheree. Because I love it. I love it, y'all. And it's it's got depth to it. It's not lightweight. Even though understanding, understand that these essences are exactly that. They are meant to be lighter versions of its of its counterpart, which is straight parfum, right? Or an X-ray, or you know, whatever it is, uh or de parfum. I think they're all parfums though. So there's a creation need that is is the normal, you know, powerful version. And I think a lot of people, I don't have any Rosier perfumes. I, from what I understand, they're very strong. And sometimes people just, it's just too much, right? They wanted something that's a little less intense. This is for that person. Now me, I like intense. So for me, I'll be over spraying this, but it's pretty. If you want it in my mind to see if before you invest in the $500 bottle or 400 and whatever dollar bottle, that would be the normal, regular, I would well, not normal, but regular creation need, you may want it. You try this first. Y'all, Sheree was right. This right here is everything. Okay. So the next one that she um, said, I want to say she said would be an okay blind buy, but she's not big on blind buys. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to even do it, right? Because I was I was struggling. And she was like, you'll be all right. You know, she, she was saying on her, not to me, but in her video, you'll be good. This might be okay for, for you. And it's scandal scandal i y'all th these pa this packaging okay so scandal i'm gonna read what it says it is floral and sweet fresh warm and very sensual and i'm gonna tell you why because my favorite note is in it tuberose but we're gonna keep it moving we're gonna talk about the top notes that lemon and that bergamot it doesn't hit me though it's there but i automatically nose go straight to the tuberose when i smell it they go to tuberose first thing i say is they'll go to tuberose right and because i'm tuberose i knew that this blind buy was going to be quite okay with me right it heart notes a lily of the valley, freesia, rose de mai, gardenia, orange blossom. Um, they go my orange again. Um, jasmine, tuberose, base notes, sandalwood, orris, and musk. And I do like musk, so that's fine too. And I, I like this one as well. So I was extremely happy that I purchased these two. And here's the thing I went back for 51, and they were gone. It was already sold out and I was pissed because I, sh I started to get three and I didn't because I tried to calm myself down. Oh, you don't need three, Christine. I should have got the 51 because it was 30% off and I didn't. So anyway, that's all of my haul today. Five fragrances, pretty much all niche for the most part because I still consider this niche. It's a private blend from the fashion house, but to me, it's still niche. Um, that's it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Do you have any of these? Is there anyone in particular that is, is tickling in your fancy or thinking about getting it? Let me know. I am so happy to have all of these. And I'm so happy to finally do this video because I wanted to put this on my vanity so bad. But I have been keeping them in, not my vanity, but my, you know, my perfume thing. But I've been keeping it in the box waiting for this video. Now, the video is done. And I can go put these pretty bottles after I get all my fingerprints off up on display. But y'all, highly recommend any of these, right? At the minimum, right? You really should sample them because other than the Roja, I had oversampled all of them to make sure that I was going to be okay. Okay? So when you're talking these kind of prices, don't go crazy, you know? 
I mean, if it's your thing, it's your thing. But me personally, you're not going to pay $400 for something and don't like it. So sample it, okay? All right, with all that said, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like the video, thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and head over to IG and follow me at Chris Loves Lux. But the most important thing is to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.